Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, time for another video blog, and um, it's a bit uh, cold in Melbourne at the moment. It's, uh, it's supposed to be mid-November, it's supposed to be spring, and yet I'm sitting here in a beanie, I've got a singlet on under here. I don't know if you can see, if I've got pointy nipples. No? No, nipples aren't pointy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, today I wanted to talk about time and um, spending time because a lot of the a lot of people always comment, you know, when I'm doing things like when I go away sailing or when I go on an adventure, people say, "How do you find the time for that?" And I always think it's quite funny because you know I, I take the attitude that if you don't make time to do something, then you'll never actually have the time to do it. You know, people say, oh, "I don't have time to go to the gym." Or, you know, I don't have time to cook properly, I don't have time to, you know, I don't have time for a hobby, all that kind of stuff. Um, and yet, they're the same people who will stare at Facebook page for hours and hours and hours, or watch TV for hours and hours and hours. And um, I always thought, you know, like, you've got plenty of time, it's just that you don't make the time to do the things that you want to do. And... It made, me think, it made me think about the irony of the fact that we have all of these things in our life that we fill our lives with in order to save time so that we have more time to do the things that we want to do. And yet, you know, people now have less time to do anything than, than they have ever had before. You know, like we have fast food restaurants so that we can save time and we have cars to get us around so that we can save time and microwaves that can heat food up really quickly in order to save us time and yet we don't have time you know and it's funny the things that we quite often fill our lives with to save our save us time are the things that end up actually using up all of our time and costing us um, the time that we really want to spend on the things that are meaningful to us you know like if we have microwaves and cars and espresso machines and all of that kind of stuff well, we actually end up spending more time at work paying them off, more time working to, to pay off those credit cards and that kind of stuff. I mean, we eat a lot of fast food to try and save ourselves time. We have to spend more time at the gym, more time at the hospital, more time at the doctors. You know, So there's all these things in our lives that are just costing us time and it's just this endless circle. You know, I find it really quite silly. Because when I was sailing and, you know, I had no microwave and no car and no internet and all of those things that are meant to save me time, I actually had more time to do things that I wanted to do. I read more books, I had more conversations, I... Hi. Uh, sorry, housemate just left. Um, more time for conversations, more time to read books. I had time to learn the ukulele. I, and I still had time to do the things that I wanted to do as well. I still had time to do workouts. And, and yet, I still managed to find myself sitting on the deck, enjoying the scenery and enjoying the ambience and enjoying life. I still was able to work because I work um, basically from my laptop wherever I have an internet connection. So I'm pretty lucky in that respect. But, you know, there's, there's so many things, I think, that um, hold us back from doing the things that we want. And saying that we don't have time to me is just such a such a such a cop out because it, um, it it it's really about our attitude and about our willingness to actually cut the things out of our lives that we know we don't need and to actually have the courage to make time to do the things that we really want to do. You know, we procrastinate so much and we always say, oh, we don't have time, we don't have time. You know what? We do. We just have to spend it more wisely. Anyway, guys, that's my little uh, nugget of wisdom for today. I'll uh, be speaking to you again very, very soon. I have to go uh, turn the heating up. My nipples are getting hard again. So I'll catch you next time. Bye.